Okay. And here I am trying to minister to this guy to forgive his father. Yet, his dad is only. So, uh, rejection can go all through your life and just build layer on layer. Uh -huh. um, you also mentioned that you were asking the human being to be the best and the best and the best. Ah, yeah. Whenever we get hurt, the spirit that's doing that is called woundedness. It's a spirit of woundedness. <clears throat> and there are many ways to get to rejection. Hurt is generally pretty much the road that, we, that, that, that most folks get there by. Okay? But discontent can get you there too. If I think God, in this case, is my everything, and I'm judged, he doesn't care about me, he's unfair, he doesn't love me, well then, that's an ultimate rejection. God's left me. Oh my gosh. If God's left me. What, what else is there? Okay. Um, so yes, woundedness. Uh, and I kind of mentioned um, uh, uh, without, when I said when I talk about murder, I was really talking about revenge. The spirit of revenge says I, I must get satisfaction. So the solution can be revenge. I mean, it could be murder. The solution can be uh, let me escape from it. So I'll, I'll do a drug addiction or some other forms of addiction, and so forth. What other spirits did I talk about? Fear. Ah, fear. You recall when we first introduced rebellion, uh, we, we read in Leviticus 26 that God now sends fear. So whenever there's rebellion, you got, you got company. Fear. Fear enters in the heart. Because recall, remember God said, for God did not give us a, the spirit of fear. He didn't give it to us. So we weren't born with the spirit of fear. He said, oh, I didn't create you that way. But you've rejected me, so here you go. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Right? So mm. as you start, whether it be studying yourself or studying a loved one and, and so forth, uh, you may see all or subset of these spirits all operate. Now, the one that's guaranteed to be there is the spirit of injustice. The cry of, that's unfair. The world's against me. That, 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 that's going to be there. And then based on uh, 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 what they've learned and so forth, some of these things they may have. Now, I understand. Some of these things they may have stifled. Because they learn, you know, someone got to them early enough, don't do that. And so they stifle it. Now, stifling a devil doesn't get rid of the devil. All right? All it is is you're not in agreement with the devil. That's really all it is. The devil is still there. That particular devil is still in the person. So you know, a lot of people think, well, I haven't done it in a while. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not there. So spirits have to be cast out. They have to be cast out. They have to be cast out. As a matter of fact, when you, if you recall, when we talked about curses, we said a curse, a devil always carries a curse. A curse is a devil. It, it, it's there to fulfill whatever the curse is. So, as a Christian, you have authority. And just with authority, you can break the curse. In, that, in other words, you can end the devil's assignment. But it takes power to tell the devil to leave. You with me? Remember, as, as a Christian, you need authority and power. Every Christian, every born-again believer who's received the Holy Ghost, receives authority. Not every Christian, however, gets power. That's, that's part of laboring to enter into his rest. That's part of putting the word in you. That, that power grows from that. So uh, at least every Christian with authority can stop the curse. Cancel the devil's assignment. But here's the thing. The devil is still there in the person. Because if they didn't have the power, then the devil's still there. They can't cast it out. Now here's the thing. As the Lord, I said, seems strange to me. So what's the devil doing? And the answer was simple. Waiting for another assignment. Mm -hmm. Which, if I'm the captain, Satan, oh, you're already in there? Oh, hey, I'm going to give you another assignment real quick. Because you're already in there. I was trying to, you know, I'm trying to get all the devils in this person. And one's already in there just with a violent assignment. So the minute you know it, the minute you sin, the minute you, boom, <laughs> he's there. All right? So the devil remains. So that's what, that, that's. I ministered a lot of drug addicts, and they always wanted to be healed. Cast devils out of them. I said, well, <laughs> I could do that, but 
you're not at a place where you can keep them you can keep them away from you. Right? Unclean spirit leaves it, he's gonna return. So I was I was trying to get him to understand you have to be in a particular place where you truly have the power of God in you for healing to be complete. So you can leave the center and truly say, I am recovered. As opposed to this quasi-recovery that many of these um, centers um, take people through.